Thanks for joining me here today at Happily in the Middle. Today I'm really excited to share two things with you. The first thing I'm going to share with you is a book recommendation about an ABC book that I'm really excited about right now. And then the second thing is a teacher giveaway. Just to say thank you for all of you who have been supporting me and following me. Those of you who have commented and shared your heart and shared something positive about teaching, it really just makes teaching such an incredible experience when you have the support of your community around you. And I just wanna say thank you for letting me expand my personal learning network. I know that I am not an expert teacher and I have a lot to grow and I have a lot to learn, but I'm just so grateful that I've been able to participate and learn from all of you. Now I do want to say that I am like going crazy because I have tried filming this video four different times. The first time I filmed it, I forgot something that I really needed to say. The second time that I filmed it, I had my son come in in the middle of the video and he wanted to sing the ABCs. The third time I filmed it, I didn't have my microphone plugged in so it did not record it and it was driving me crazy. So. Fourth time's the charm. Hopefully this works out today. So let's get started with that book recommendation. So this book that I'm really excited to share with you is called A Little Radical and it is the ABCs of Activism. And if you can see that and it focuses, it's by Danica and Jason Russell. Look how beautiful this cover is. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's really eye-catching. I just love this beautiful cover. Now, I am a little bit biased and I will admit this because when I was 22, which was almost 10 years ago, when I was 22, I did get to volunteer and work with Invisible Children as an intern. It was an incredible experience and I got to work with some of the most amazing activists I've ever met and one of them was Jason Russell. Now, I didn't actually work with him. He worked in the office and I saw him and I did meet him, but I was a traveling intern, so I really didn't spend a lot of time in the office. I was traveling around in the United States. Now, if you don't know much about Invisible Children, I encourage you to research it and check it out. They've done incredible things in Eastern Africa and I got to go there and see it, so I know that what they've done is legit. It's incredible. But let's get back to the ABC book. Now, when I was in college getting my master's degree, I was studying literacy and I took this class all about children's literature and I didn't know, but there is an entire world of ABC books and it got me really excited because I just thought like an ABC book was like those things that we made in elementary school, like A is for apple, B is for book, and it just goes on and on and on. But there's some really cool ABC books, like A is for Abigail. It's an ABC book all about women in history, and it's incredible. It's actually one of my favorite books, but this one I'm really excited about right now. So let's talk about this book, The ABCs of Activism. Now this whole book is just beautifully colored. It's vibrant. When you open up the book, you'll see this two-page spread and it has all these cute little buttons on here like free pizza or power to the electronics, just cute little buttons on here. You open it up and you'll see on one of the opening pages here, right there we go, is a definition of activism. So I love this. It's not just a hobby or a job. It's not just for hippies or the large angry mob. So you'll notice it does have a rhyme scheme to it, but it's a great way to start the book because it has a definition. I think you could introduce this and even begin your lesson here, what is and what is not activism, making a T-chart. Those are really helpful tools for English learners. You could have students draw a picture of what they think activism is. You could have students research and find pictures of activism and create a document on it. I just think there's a lot of ways you could go with that definition as you introduce the book. Here's our bright, beautiful cover page, a little radical. Now, when I heard that they were writing this book, I made my husband get on GoFundMe so that we could fund it, and I did get a signed copy, which made my heart just feel so full when I got it in the mail. So each letter in the alphabet is two-page spread, and so you'll see here A is for action, and I want to read this to you so you can just hear what it sounds like. And I just love the beat and the rhythm and the flow. It's just, it's awesome. A is for action. It all starts with you. Talk won't do a thing without follow through. So get off your buns. Don't be a no-show. Lead by example. Get up and go. Nothing will change if you just stand still. Come alive. Take action. You can if you will. So just a really nice rhythm to it. I think that the students will love that when you read it aloud to them. So here's B for boycott. 
Now my students particularly love this because of the bright colors. Now I know it kind of drives me crazy when students just like spend all their time looking at the pictures, but I think that analyzing visuals or analyzing media is a really important part of the reading process, especially if you have English learners. So I really didn't mind, but I did want them to actually read the book and get through to the end. So F is for fail. Man, failure is so important in anything that we do. And I think it's so important that we teach that failure is part of that creative process. Failure is part of setting our goals and trying to achieve them because we don't always get them on the first time and we have to go back and change something and try again. G is for give, H is for heart, I is for impact. So you just see J is for just, you just see how beautiful this book is. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Danica Russell, Jason's wife, is the one who did all the art for this, but I could be wrong. It could have been both of them who did it together, but I think it was his wife. She's just a really talented artist. I will link the website to this down below, so check that out. I know at Christmas time, Kristen Bell tweeted about it and they sold out like really quickly. So hopefully they're taking pre-orders or they've actually already put in a new order, but follow the link. You can order your own copy of A Little Radical. You are going to love it. And if you do, tell me and tell me how it went when you shared it with the students in your class. I know that if you're a Read 180 and you teach a Read 180 teacher and you teach Siege B that your workshop one is all about social justice. So get this and save it for next school year or even get it and let your students read it now because I'm sure that you've already gone through the unit. All right, let's talk about the giveaway. Now I'm really excited about this giveaway because I just want to say thank you again to those of you who have been supporting me. I'm over 750 subscribers. I never in a million years thought that anyone would even want to listen to me talk as a teacher. So thank you for those of you who have chosen to follow me and support me. That is just so cool. Now my giveaway today is not super big because it is my first giveaway and I just want to share some cute school supplies with you to share with you in your classrooms. Hopefully this will just cheer you up. There are a couple rules though for this giveaway. Rule number one is that you do need to be subscribed to me so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and if you're already subscribed you're good. Rule number two, I want you to leave a comment down below in the comment box so that you can share something that you love about teaching. So something that you just think is amazing about the job of teaching, or if you're not a teacher, maybe just like a quality that you look for in a great teacher, something that you admire about teachers. Just, I wanna fill up this space with positive thoughts and ideas about teaching. It's a job that you can easily just feel down about, and so the more positivity that we share, I think just the better it is as a teacher, because this is such an incredible job, but it's really the teachers you surround yourself with that make a huge difference in your career. Last, I do want you to know that this giveaway will run through January 31st. That's about three weeks from today. So make sure you check back. I'll post the name in the description box. Really excited to share with you. So let me tell you what I've got for you today. The first thing that I have for you is these really cute socks. They say, oh, the places these socks will go. <laughs> They're really cute, obviously. They're like Dr. Seuss theme. So it says adventure awaits, and I don't know what, it doesn't say what, oh, it just says one size fits most. Um, anyways, they're green and yellow, which happen to be my school colors. I almost kept them. <laughs> Next thing I have for you is this super cute touchscreen stylus. It's this green, uh, there we go, this green crown right here. I think you're gonna have so much fun with that. It works on your touchscreen phone and your tablets. It'll be perfect to use in your class. Something else that I have for you are these four inch ABC letters. These will be perfect for any bulletin board. They're super cute. On the back, you can see all the letters are in there. They're all pre-cut. You don't even have to like punch out the center of the A or anything. They are all capital letters. And if you can't tell, that is green. It's kind of like a bright green color. And then that chevron pattern on the inside, there's 76 characters in here or 76 pieces in here that you can use. I think that'll make a really cute bulletin board. Another item I have for you today are these really cute name plates. And so you'll see here, we have that cute chevron pattern. It kind of matches those letters I just showed you. And then this is where students' names can be written. I guess you could do them either direction, but I get, I think up is with the chevron pattern on the top. Anyways, they're super cute. I think you'll like them. Another thing I have for you today is this really cute notepad. Now, I am a list maker. Where are my list makers at? Because I cannot function without a list. 
So here is what the list is all about. You can write the date, choose the day of the week, and check your box if you have lunch duty or recess duty or bus duty or something. You can write down your top priorities and things to note. If you're anything like me as a teacher, there is so much going on in the classroom and I just forget things. So I actually just make a list of all the things that pop into my head so that I will take care of them during lunch or during my prep, if I get a prep and I'm not subbing. Um, but I just make lists all the time because I forget things and that's like my greatest weakness as a teacher. Additionally, I have for you these cute little cards. They say just these cute little like uplifting phrases like never ever give up or imagine or just other cute little things. There are 56 in here and 30 of them have text written on them but 26 are blank so you can actually write your own things on here. You can use these for like sorting activities, putting on a calendar, you could use them for grouping students together or even game pieces. They're really cute. I think you'll love those. Three more things. So these are just like cute little pad. This is just a cute little pad of paper with owls on it. I think this would be really cute if you have or find a template online and print out award certificates on this paper. It's just so perfectly bordered for an award certificate. I just, it's so cute. I also have these really handy supply labels. So there's 44 labels in here and they come with um, all different colors. In the back you'll see like examples of them. So these are the real ones you get to punch out and they are in this like chalkboard theme and there are different colors for the chalkboard. But I think if you have a chalkboard theme in your class or you just use a lot of bright colors that these will be really cute. You can label all kinds of things with these like staples or paint or paper clips or folders or games or dry erase markers, counters, just like all kinds of different things. So I think you'll love these as a great addition to your classroom. The last thing I have for you I'm really excited about. If your students are anything like mine, then they get excited by this world of Minecraft. Now, my students get really excited about Minecraft and they want to read all of those Minecraft books and they play this game and they build these worlds in there. So if you have students who are excited about Minecraft, they'll be excited about this unofficial Minecraft lab book for kids. And it's full of family friendly labs and experiences for exploring and teaching math, science, history, and culture. So there's like all these really cool things you can do. It takes you through the essentials of playing and navigating the game. You can go on quests that explore these topics for these different labs. You can create or complete the activity that has art, crafts, or design and then build a related in-game project with it. You can also have the kids earn rewards with like stickers and badges. So in here as well, you'll see just the inside of the book. It has um, information about just whatever the lab is about and it gives you this hands-on activity you can do with your students to make it real. So this one here was architecture and you could tell that the students are building something as part of the lab for that. Here we go is growing a garden and so you can learn about it in world and then you take it into a real life experience for your students. So I think you're really going to like that and your students or your kids are really going to be excited about this world of Minecraft if they're super into the game. Thank you again so much for joining me here on my channel. Thank you to those of you who have been supporting me. Don't forget to hit subscribe and comment down below so you don't miss out on this teacher giveaway. And also, please share this channel. I really am looking forward to getting to know and meet other teachers. My purpose for doing this channel was just to expand my personal learning network so I have more people to learn from. So please share it, please comment down below and enter. And thank you so much for joining me here. Have a great day.